Hey everybody. Just got back from a trip to Norco. Do down a motor and then wouldn't sign a bill of sale. Well, I couldn't buy it. Four hours wasted. That's part of the game. So, Chandler says, what about the COVID vaccine? Blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to read you a little something. Messenger RNA. <clears throat> what is that? I'm going to read you the technical term, which probably nobody here is going to understand, unless you're a molecular biologist or you've got a really high IQ. I'm going to read it to you anyhow. I'm going to explain it in layman's terms. <clears throat> molecular biology. Messenger nucleic acid mRNA is a single-stranded molecule of RNA that corresponds to the genetic sequence of a gene and is read by the ribosome in the process of synthesizing a protein. mRNA is created during the process of transcription where an enzyme, RNA polymerase, converts the gene into primary transcript, mRNA, also known as pre-mRNA. This pre-mRNA usually still contains introns, or introns, I-N-T-R-O-N-S, or introns. Regions that will not go on to code for the final amino acid sequence. These are removed in the process of RNA splicing, leaving only exons, regions that will encode the protein. The exon sequence constitutes mature mRNA. Mature mRNA is then read by the ribosome, and the ribosome creates the protein utilizing amino acids carried by transfer RNA. This process is known as translation. All these processes form part of the central dogma of molecular biology, which describes the flow of genetic information in a biological system. So, I'm sure about 99% of you will answer, so what the fuck did he say? So let me try to explain this in layman's terms, since some of you went to school for molecular biology. A virus, which COVID-19 is the 19th COVID virus found. Okay. In viruses, they're not actually alive like you and me or cell. Uh, there, there's something in between not alive and, and alive. Okay. We, we came from something before cells could mutate and combine and grow and become plants and animals. And a virus to infect a cell creates protein spikes. Remember the protein I was talking about? Think of a fish hook. You have a specific type of fish hook to catch a specific type of fish with a specific type of bait. And if you don't dangle the hook just right, you ain't going to catch anything. So the protein that the virus creates the mRNA, what it does is it blocks that specific protein spike or spikes as the virus mutates. And you, you ever watched X-Men? You know, mutation, evolution, right? Well, that's what it's talking about. As the virus mutates, in other words, what it's doing, it's creating different types of fish hooks, different types of spikes. The mRNA is only encoded to block this specific type of spikes. So when you get a vaccine with an mRNA vaccine, it'll block all of those specific spikes. But as the virus mutates and it creates a spike that goes off of this way or off of that way, it can escape that blockage and now you have a partial or complete infection of COVID-19. That's why the virus can escape or go beyond or infect someone who's gotten vaccinated. It's called a mutating virus. Now there are viruses that don't mutate. Smallpox, same virus for thousands of years. When you have a smallpox virus, very successful. It stops every infection because the virus does not mutate. 
Another example of a mutated virus is a flu. Every year, I get the quattro flu shot, not the single virus shot. I get the four strain shot. Now, what that does, it doesn't just protect me from four strains. It protects me for any slightly mutated off of those strains. So I've got this kind of protection instead of this kind of protection. And every year, if I get sick, I just get like a little rundown or the sniffles. I don't get my flu shot. Any little whatever comes around, I am deathly ill for like a week or two or three. I'm totally out of it. I can't function. Can't can't talk legibly. The last time I didn't get my stupid ass flu shot, I talked to a fucking cop. And I told him no. And that didn't matter. And I spent four and a half years in federal prison because I didn't get a fucking flu shot. Now, viruses are different from one person to the next. One person, I didn't get sick. I mean, it's got to be not a big deal because I didn't get sick. Well, what about your grandma? What about your grandpa? What about the family over there where they're all fucking dead from the same virus that you are? I didn't get sick from it, so it's not a big deal. Okay. The COVID-19 vaccine from America, not necessarily China or Russia or some other whatever country, the American ones, they had that vaccine in 24 hours after getting the genome. That's the complete sequencing of the RNA of the virus. So you knew what kind of spikes it had. They had it in 24 hours. All Trump had to do is say, oh my God, this virus is coming. We're gonna put the vaccine in production. We're gonna get everybody shots. Blah, blah, blah. It's coming from China, but it can mutate. So our virus can come from any country because it spreads around the world. Well, that would be the intelligent response. What did Trump do? Well, he's a moron. Who thinks he's intelligent? Who talks to even stupider fucking morons because they can't understand their school bit and pretends to be smart and they believe him. So he calls it the Kung Fu virus, it's a Democrat hoax, denies it for 12 months, almost dies from it. And then he goes to Operation Warp Speed, wasting the whole fucking years and infects the entire fucking country. And almost implodes the entire United States and the world economically because of his stupidity. A lot of people land a lot of money off his stupidity. He is listed by historians as the worst president in history for a reason. Yeah, for a reason. So, anyhow, the most successful vaccine in the history of the world on a mutating virus is the COVID-19 vaccine. Where did the pandemic go? In the air. Why? Because of the vaccine. When we didn't have a vaccine, the last plague came around, 50% of the fucking world died. It was called the bubonic plague. They didn't know how it spread. You had a religious church that, it's the work of the devil. Couldn't understand how it spread. Couldn't deal with it at all, period. And 50% of the world died over stupidity. You know, it didn't have to be that way. If the church hadn't been repressing education for the previous 1,500 years or so, we would have already been past where we're at right now. That's all the church, repressing education. It was heresy for a long time to learn how to read unless you were with the clergy. And they'd kill you for it. Literal history. Look up the Inquisition. So here's my position on religion. And this is coming from someone who was so religious time I was called Father Todd and then I read the Bible right you, you might fool me once but I'm going to find out because I do have a brain and then I'm going to call you out I'm going to call you out hard religion is the pathway for insanity every religion religion is the pathway for evil every religion how can I say that well, what's happening over in Palestine right now? Hamas attacked Israel. 
hoping to inflame the Mideastern war that would stamp Israel out, wipe it off the map. And Israel responded, and now we've got maybe 4,000, you know, 40,000, who knows how many tens of thousands of Palestinians dead, no end in sight, because they're fighting over who has the best way to worship the same fake God. It's the same God. And they're killing each other over it. That's insane. Yes, it is. So they just proved my point for me. Religion is the pathway to insanity. Okay? To kill another human being or another animal, a dog, an elephant, anything that doesn't deserve to be killed because they attacked you is the height of insanity. It's not necessarily kill to eat, right? But here's humans in our antiquity. We needed a few woolly mammoths for the tribe. So we'd knock the whole fucking herd off the cliff and then wonder why they went extinct. <laughs> they couldn't just kill one or two. They had to kill the whole herd. So humans on the scale of intelligence were really fucking stupid as a species. There's a whole lot of species that are way smarter than we are. Just because we got tech, Okay, I am just so not impressed. This is why we got tech. Right? That's the only reason. We evolved hands. Right? And you can go, well, there's other animals who evolved hands. Well, yes. But for some reason, we became apex predators. And they did. What is an apex predator? In the world of humans, you come up against some tribe, we're gonna kill everybody. We're gonna not just hunt down the lioness who killed my little boy, we're gonna kill her mate and all her other lionesses and all her cubs and the whole tribe. That's how humans respond and that's why animals fear us. They all talk to each other, they avoid us because of how we've treated them since we've been around. We killed their whole tribe, and they learned to fear us. I was just at the beach the other day. Went for a ride, you know, little tide pools and all that. And here's a squirrel that the humans feed that's not afraid of any of the humans. Goes up and, you know, I mean, right in front of people, two, three feet away. Why? Because nobody has attacked his tribe, and he's learned not to fear him. If humans weren't such assholes, the animals would all talk to us. And we wouldn't know how to talk to them. They all have language. I can speak dog, quite fluent. Okay? They talk to me, I talk to them. Yes, I do. They have a language. Most people can't understand that. Most people are dumber than a box of rocks. He goes, it's just a fucking dog. No, no thing. It's another person in a dog suit that has emotions, just like we do. So that's that, my little lecture for the evening. So I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of you who disagree with me. This is my answer. Get the fuck off my channel. I don't want to know you. Bye.